Hey, today I'm talking about Michael Bay's new film, Ambulance. Spoilers, I hated this. It's really, really dumb. <sighs> so I went into it knowing that it was a Michael Bay film. And like I've seen most other Michael Bay films, I know they're often really dumb. He just likes explosions. This movie has a lot of explosions. So I tried ridiculously hard to turn my brain off for this movie but I just I couldn't it was just like beating me in the head relentlessly that being said I think this film would have made like a great short film like a good solid 30 maybe 45 minute short film because like I was actually fine with it in the beginning. But as soon as it started, I was like, oh, this feels a little off. Like something doesn't feel quite right. The editing was just constantly fast. You're even doing slow stuff. And I was like, Ugh. you're cutting everything like it's an action scene when everything isn't an action scene. Stop it. They didn't, spoilers. But I was fine with it. I was enjoying the performances. The dialogue didn't start off atrocious. It had just little bits of atrocity every now and again. And then it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And just the more I watched the movie, the more upset I became with the movie and like I audibly sighed multiple times and legit rolled my eyes so many times and I'm like I in a theater with other people at one point said out loud I couldn't control myself but just the words came out of me as some characters were saying some stupid ass shit up on the big screen I was just like just shut up and they didn't obviously because this is a movie theater like I'm good about theater experiences I'm good about not talking during a movie I'm good about not being on my phone during a movie. I was so close to walking out of the movie, I don't know what stopped me from just leaving. I, I wanted to. I should have just left. I did turn on my phone though and checked it to see how much time I had left, but then I realized I didn't actually know how long this movie was, which is, spoilers, way too long. This movie's ridiculously too long. I will give this movie credit though. There is some cool car crashes that happen, and there's some really cool drone shots. Michael Bay discovered drones, and he uses them a lot. It's cool, but it's a lot. Also, what's up with Michael Bay's need to have every single female character get hit on in a really creepy way? And then also his desire to make his main female character look the exact same as Megan Fox in the Transformers movies. Like, what's up with that? I guess we all have our own preferences, but like, this is kind of weird, man. So yeah, this movie was really dumb and bloated and just the worst. I hated it. I don't recommend it. Maybe if you're trashed, like if you're so drunk, you're barely conscious, then it could be a good experience. I do get that people like this movie and enjoyed this movie. Congrats. I didn't. It was really dumb. I hated it. So yeah, my ranking is I put this at number 18 and they didn't like, and this is at a total of 18 new movies so far this year. And if I'm being really honest, this would also be at the bottom of my old movie rankings, which spoilers, I recently watched The Never Ending Story Part 3 which is abysmal and my least favorite movie over there and this movie is head and shoulders way worse than that movie is and I feel like that's saying a lot because that movie is really bad I should have known better but eh is this review done? Yeah, I don't care. That's dumb. I don't care if I properly ended it because this movie's stupid. So this review is stupid. Everything is stupid. Life is stupid. That's not true. I like life. I liked life better yesterday when I hadn't seen this movie. 